Hi guys, Alex Dukakis, O'Brien Real Estate, checking in with the first edition for 2020 of the Northwest Weekly Property News. In this week's video, before we go cascading into the property insights, I wanted to let you all know how proud we are of our charity at O'Brien Real Estate, our O'Brien Real Estate Foundation, which is backed by our staff, family and friends in raising much needed donations for bushfire relief. To date so far, the team have raised over $12,000 the target of $50,000 that we hope to achieve. Now jumping into the property news, typically at this time of the year, there are not as many property sales occurring. However, there are many crystal ball property forecasts for 2020 occurring. And it's our view that in 2020, we'll see much more of the growth we saw in the second half of 2019. And most of the growth will be fueled by the investors. who in 2019, accounted for less than 25% of sales, which is in fact the lowest participation level on record. Investors are no doubt being lured back by the potential of bigger capital gains and the low interest rates. The next major catalyst for the market growth will come from the first home buyers with their new incentives, which we believe will impact on demand through most suburbs, through both apartments and detached home sales. The most popular place to buy for the first home buyers in 2019 was in fact the postcode 3064 in the city's out north, which encompasses the suburbs of Craigieburn, Donnybrook, Roxburgh Park, Calcalo, and Mickleham. Just over 2,600 homes were purchased with buyers forking out $38.1 million. Postcode 3064 was then followed by Hoppers Crossing, Tarnit, and Truganina with 2,112 homes bought. We also saw Point Cook, Werribee, and Cranbourne also rank in the top 10. In other market insights, over the Christmas New Year break and following on from the Stage 1 China-US trade deal, we saw our biggest trade partner in China make an announcement from the People's Bank of China on its website stating that its bank's reserve requirement ratio, which basically is the amount of cash that banks must hold as reserves, is reducing by 50 basis points. And about a week thereafter, China also released its inflation figures, which puts its annual inflation at a seven-year high. Both courses of action is positive news for our property market. Fresh new building approvals numbers were released this time last week. New home builds rose by 11.8% in November, which is the biggest lift in nine months to 14,675 units. However, approvals are still down by 3.8% from a year ago. And lastly, in closing, a little off topic, the banning of mobile phones across all public schools in Victoria comes into play in 2020. We see this as a very positive move for all our current school learners and future generations entering the public school system. Thanks for tuning in guys, this is Alex Dukakis. Until next week, have a great weekend.